Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at Baby Groot uploaded by Bayamba. So first things first is we go down and take a look at the developer notes and see if he has any recommendations. And they do include quite a bit. So they say no rafts, no supports, resolution does not matter, which is the layer height, and an infill of 20%. So that's definitely going to help us out uh, quite a bit with the print settings. After you take a look at that, we're going to go to download all files. And once you download everything, you should have a folder similar to this. Now, there's three different ways you can print the model. First way is going to be printing the head and the body separately. The advantage to that is that, let's say something messes up in the middle. You can always restart a print or modify whatever you need to. But doing that will make the print time be increased by roughly two hours. and you may need some sort of glue to connect the body to the head. I, I believe there's a shaft on the head which can connect to the body. But, you know, if you want it firm in place, you might need some glue. The next option is going to be printing the body and the head together, which is what we're going to do for this video. And finally, the third one, he actually includes a different model in which the baby Groot is smiling and waving. So the regular one is this file right here, as you see in this image. And the other one is the smiling Groot with the uh, waving hand. And those two files, is they're going to be the merged, which is the regular one, which is the head and the body combined. And the smiling one is just the waving Groot one. All the other ones are the individual head and body, if you wanted to print those. Now, I recommend just doing it, at, do, printing it in one piece, but that's going to be completely up to you on what you choose. So once you select whatever model you want, just click and hold and drag it onto your printer slicer and give it a few seconds to render. Once the model finishes loading up, you should be greeted by Baby Groot. Now, if your computer starts getting a little slower or acting up, that's because this model probably has millions upon millions of little triangles that are making it up. There's so much detail in this model that the slicing software has to basically think five times as hard as any other model that you may be printing so just be cautious of that so first things first we're going to go to the profile and select a layer height you can select whatever layer height you want but a 0.2 millimeter which is a standard quality should be more than sufficient it should capture every little bit of detail in the model if this pops up whenever you select your layer height just click on discard that will erase all previous print settings next we're going to go to infill most printers already have it set to 20%. So if it isn't, change it to 20. And it's this setting right over here. Supports, the developer said none. So we don't have to add any supports. Make sure that's unchecked. Build pit adhesion, which is what the developer said as rafts, was none. So we don't have to add any rafts or anything like that. If, it's, if it's, it says skirt here, that's fine. Skirt is just a, a single line around the model. So you can just leave that there. And other than that, we're set. There's not really too much you can do here. So all you got to do now is hit slice. And like I said before, slicing may take a little longer than usual, but that's more than fine. Just because the model is so detailed that you will take a little bit more processing power in order to fully slice. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate as well as a estimated filament usage. Now I have a time estimate of 12 hours and 57 minutes but yours might uh, differ slightly based on your printer as well as the settings that you used. I'm also given a 92 grams of filament estimated usage. Once you're happy with all these numbers, click on preview as always, just to make sure nothing weird is going on with the model. Now scrolling around, we see everything looks pretty good, pretty normal. So let's save the file and send it over to the printer. Because the model did not require any supports or build plate adhesion, we do not have to do any further post-processing other than sanding if necessary. 
though with the model that I printed, it came out nearly perfect. There are no defects, every single bit of detail is there and present, and I have little to no stringing. So this model actually came out really good, I'm really impressed. And like I said, there's quite a bit of detail, so definitely print it if you want. It will take you quite a while like it did with me, roughly 13 hours, but it definitely is well worth the wait.